States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. America! Good morning, RHS. I'm Leah Kynes. And I'm Kayla McGuire, and this is your Daily Dose for Wednesday, January 6, 2016. Moira Hall talked to Miss Styles about the ceramics class. Let's go take a closer look. Hi RHS, I'm Moira Hall and I'm taking a closer look at the ceramics class here at RHS taught by Miss Styles. How do you get a good grade in ceramics? Um, well, I have certain criteria that I'm looking for, like are things a good weight for the size, is it well finished and smooth and seams put together well, so um, you just have to do those things well and it is a process I mean it's, a, it's you're trying to make dirt look good so um, it's kind of hard at first which is why we start with simple projects and then it gets a little more complicated as we go and what do you do after you make your project like with clay uh, when students are done making their project then we have to let it dry all the way because if anything's wet and it goes in the kiln it will blow up um, so let it dry for about two weeks it goes in the kiln which is the oven for the clay um, so it goes in there and then you get it back and then you can glaze it and glaze is basically like paint but it's glass so it's like powdered glass put that on put it back in the kiln again fire it up again let the glaze melt and then you can finally take it home you'll be done and why is ceramics a good class to take? Because it's awesome and it's good for anyone that likes to work with their hands and do, have like tactile like squish and pull and push and just it's, it's a good class to take for those kind of people. Some people are very clean and neat and this is for those of you that don't mind getting a little dirty and, and working with your hands. Thanks Miss Styles. Ceramics sure does sound like fun. Now back to the anchors. Thanks Moira. Attention class officers, Winter Fest is fast approaching. There will be a class meeting this Thursday in Mrs. Haddad's room C119 to discuss this year's lip sync theme and get your topic. Please meet immediately after school. Today after school, the following clubs will be meeting. Girls group meets every two weeks, Guitar Club, Teen Coalition, Anxiety Club at 7.15 a.m. in the Planetarium, and Anime Club every second and third Wednesday of the month at 3 in room A234. Attention NHS members, looking for some extra community hours? Come help paint the set for Doo-Wop Wed Widing Hood this Saturday slash Sunday with Acting Out Productions. You can work Saturday from 6 to 10 p.m. and Sunday from 1 to 6 p.m. at Trillium Academy in Taylor. See Mrs. Lomas in room 8222 for additional details. Please remember students, you should not be entering the building before 7.30 a.m. On cold days during the winter, you may enter prior to 7.30, but must wait in the cafeteria until that 7.30 bell rings. You should not be anywhere else in the building prior to that time. Now here's Tyler Thorrington with your daily sports report. Hey RHS, Tyler Thorrington here with your sports report. Boys swimming has a meet against Woodhaven tomorrow. Girls basketball has a game tonight at Monroe at 7 p.m. Come out and support. The Polar Bears are in the upstairs track after school. Also, the Polar Bears will be at Michigan on Friday. The varsity bowling team won on Monday and are now 5-0. The boys bowled very well all day. They led the 12-game qualifying and were the only team to average over 200 with a 203. However, they lost in the quarterfinals. They bowled well but got a few bad breaks at inopportune times. Nice job, Bears. There's a tournament on the 16th at Cherry Hill Lanes and another one for the Bowl for the Burns tournament on the 30th. Wrestling hosts the Wyandotte Invitational this Saturday. Now we go to Eric Delanoy with your weather report. What's up RHS? It's Eric Delanoy with your weather report. Your weather for today will be sunny with a high near 34. Thursday's weather will be partly sunny with a high near 39. Friday's weather will be clear with a high near 40 and a 60% chance of precipitation. Now back to the anchors. Thanks fellas. Happy birthday to Wyatt Hurst, Matthew Acapelli, Jeremy Levin, Alyssa Marchman, Brett Massey, Melanie Olson, Madison Pepke, and Haley Shear. Hey, Caitlin, what do you call a two-legged cow? I don't know what. Lean beef. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Aaliyah Kynes. And I've been Kale McGuire. Stay, Stay sassy, RHS. RHS.